I want to do a quick walkthrough how-to video on how to get a CRM record as a clickable URL in Power Automate. So on the screen, I have good old classic workflow. And back in these days, it was fairly simple to get a hyperlink to a specific record in Dynamics 365. All we would do is use this handy field of record URL dynamic, add it into our automation and classic workflow, and then voila, a hyperlink direct to the record would appear. So I want to show you how we're going to accomplish the same thing using a built-in connector in Power Automate. I'm going to work within a flow that already exists just to make this a bit quicker. So we already have our trigger using Dataverse when a quote status is moved to active is what we're looking for. The second step is getting details about the owner of the quote, which is used elsewhere on the flow, as well as details about the account on the quote. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add an action. And what we're looking for is one of our built-in connectors. It's right here, data operation. So then we're going to pick Compose in our action here. And for our inputs, this is where we're going to get a little fun. All right, so come over to Dynamics 365. Open up any quote. It's whatever table you're building your flow on. This one is the quote. Now, I know I'm a big proponent of using custom model-driven apps for user adoption, but for this particular scenario, I'm going to tell you to use your sales hub or your service hub, whatever your main hub is depending on your license that you have. So here I am in my sales hub, not my custom model driven app. I've opened a quote, any quote. I'm going to copy this URL and then we're gonna go back to flow and we're gonna paste it here in the compose. So our input is a string. It's going to put me directly into the sales hub app. It's got all this great information. What I'm looking for now is the unique identifier of that specific quote because I don't want that. So here is an ID equals. After the equal sign, I'm going to delete everything that's here because that is the unique identifier for the specific quote that I copied it from. Instead, this box here of dynamic content, I'm going to go look for quote and make sure you're grabbing it from the right step. Actually, you know, a nice thing you can do is type in unique identifier. And that's going to show you all the unique identifiers and make sure that you grab the right one. So I've got a lot of dataverse action steps here. What I actually want is the detail from the trigger, which is all the way at the bottom. You can see here when a quote status is moved to active. And here's my quote. So now it's going to create that URL and it's gonna pull in the dynamic quote ID. Isn't that cool? So now we can use this in our future steps, coming down to where I have it. So here's my conditional. Let's expand here, and right here is a link to your quote. So the way we got that is clicking in here in dynamic content, and we're gonna scroll down to our, our create URL. Actually, it was this compose, and then select your output. And that's it. Now we have a clickable URL for our users as part of this flow. So I hope this made sense. If not, feel free to reach out and ask me if you have any questions. I know it's a few more steps than it was in good old classic workflow, but you can still get the same results using Power Automate.